Rolling with the top down, always at the place to be. Head down, fly chick, you know when I slide, I'm the VIP. I'm the VIP. It's that little boss talk. It's that little boss talk. When you touch down in LA, the one you got to see is me. Come and talk that talk with me, little boss talk. It's that little boss talk. Let's talk, yo. Little boss talk. Hey everyone, welcome to Little Boss Talk, and we have a wonderful show today. Today I have the cast members of Little Women LA. All my cast members are here today. Well, not all of them, but a large amount. <laughs> so um, stay tuned and let's talk, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Who are that, you? That was the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we forgot to pray. Should we pray? You should pray. You do yeah. the best prayers. Yeah, How about you do prayer. one of your amazing prayers to start this off? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Tony. Everybody <laughs> in this cast has heard your prayers. Let's do it. I don't think I have. Okay. Everyone wants me to pray, so everyone bow your heads. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for bringing everyone here today, safe and sound. And that we have a wonderful show and enjoy ourselves, have fun, answer a lot of the questions that the fans want to know. Lord, we just want to thank you for bringing us together. Ooh. And we give you the honor and give you the glory and give you the praise. You are the, you're the potter and we're the clay. And we ask that you use us in your, in your, mighty, your mighty way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, hey, everyone, I've had the pleasure to work with each and every one of these young ladies on this, on my panel today. And first, we're going to introduce Miss Brittany Guzman. Hi! Hey! 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 hey. hey. So, Brittany was, um, she was on the show for season three, I believe. Right. And so, Brittany, I'm starting off with you first. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> did you enjoy doing the show and would you do the show again? I did enjoy the show. Um, and, um, uh, I would love to do it again. It was such a fun experience, a new thing to try reality show. And I would so be down to do it again. So how has it changed your life? It changed my life in a way you see life different because reality is so different than um, any other show. Um, I look at it as now you have people that watch you, that love you, that want to take pictures with you. So it makes me feel so good to make people's day by taking a picture with them or just saying hi or giving them a hug. So that's impacted and changed my life in a way I get to make people's day. But at the same time, they make my day. Okay. Oh, yeah. And what have you been doing since Little Women L.A.? Since Little Women LA, I've done a lot of social media. I've done TikTok. I've done a lot of um, side events and just been maintaining Freak of Brit and stuff like that. Okay, Freak of Brit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and next we have my girl, Miss Brianna. Now, okay, Brianna. Yes. You just got married. Oh, no, well, you didn't just get three, married. Three years. You've been ago. married three years. <laughs> yes. What's your new last name? Manning. 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 I'm oh, still in the M, huh? Yes. <laughs> Can't get away from that rolls. M. It rolls, though. It works. <laughs> okay. Well, Brianna. You don't have to change any of your, like, uh, initial stuff. I don't. I'm still BF. If you have, like, still initial BF. jewelry or yeah, anything fine. like that. <laughs> That's great. Yes. So, as far as Little Women L.A., how did it impact your life? How did it change your life? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, uh, you know, as you know, my... My story took a little bit of a rough turn at the end, but honestly, I found my strength after that. I found the person that I really wanted to be and who I wasn't being. And um, with that, you know, I ironically, I grew even stronger to my family and I've become the best mom I can be for both my kids, the, yeah. the best wife to my God sent husband now. 
and I just have a new perspective. So, you know, it it's it was a blessing in disguise, I guess. Right. You know. So, um, and what have you been doing since? Like, oh, gosh, <laughs> since mm-hmm. uh, since I left, well, in 2018, I dropped my album. Okay. Ignite by Renee. I uh, loved it. it. Thank you, thank you. And um, and then uh, met my husband in 2019. Okay. And right before months, COVID. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, like two months later, we're like, and COVID. Um, <laughs> but then uh, 2020, I learned that my son has autism, so Maverick has autism. And so we've just honestly been on a beautiful journey of learning this whole new world out there and learning about not only autism, but, you know, with my daughter, she's like she's doing so many activities. So I'm just a really busy mom. How old is she now? She's 13. Wow. Okay, so she's in the She has a teenager. Grade. I have yeah. a teenager. She's eighth grade, going to high school. Oh, she's going to be going to high school. Yes. yes. <gasps> Going, oh wow. I'm like, oh. I know, and we're, I mean, full on. She is the most amazing child. Y'all know her. She's yes. the most amazing. She girl. always has been. But she's, she's still very a teenager. Very intelligent. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's actually. Um, she actually was just recognized as a gifted child. She's straight ace. Okay. She's in self defense. She's nice. That's awesome. I mean, a p a violinist. Smart. I'm just, you know, that's all I'm focusing on is right. is raising okay. and being a amazing example that. I wasn't for a moment in time, but mm-hmm. I got back to being, and that's that's all I can do right now. Well, God, it, it shows. God has totally blessed you with mm-hmm. a wonderful husband, Thank you. wonderful family, and you know I see the light mm-hmm. in you. Because before, yeah, it mm-hmm. was it was it was before. a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, yeah, I know. But <laughs> it was a light at the end of the tunnel, right? It really was. So it really was. Well, thank you. Um, thank you for showing up for coming. I'm happy to be here. Uh, uh, it's been a long time since I've it's seen you. You're looking really, good. Thank you. Look, you too. Haven't aged a bit. Just look, you just she look looks better. the same. I know. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Haven't aged a bit. But no, but just with a yeah. glow, like yes, a different glow. Oh, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Which well, is I, a good <clears> thing, though. It's not like I. I wish seven years ago, whatever, I looked the same. Well, thank you. Well, you look gorgeous, and I, I'd love for you to meet my husband someday. I, did, I would love to meet yes. him too. He's awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, I can tell from the pictures on 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 social media. I'm like, okay, Bree. Okay, you did that. Yes. yes. She was. She was giving me. Oh, I talked to her over the phone, and yes. she was giving me some um, techniques on what. <laughs> How to get a good man. So. Oh. <laughs> it just, you know, took me a while, but I finally learned it. I finally learned it, yeah. So, okay, so now, Miss... So are you looking for a new man? Miss Tara oh. Jolie. Miss <laughs> Tara Jolie. She has one Miss Tara yeah. Jolie. Y'all be quiet. Y'all, y'all leave me alone. Mm-hmm. This is my show. <laughs> I'm the boss. Little You've boss talk. always been bossy. Always been bossy. That much is true. So, Miss <clears throat> Tara. So, you know... This is my BFF. We've so. known each other forever. Since, ooh. 1999. Yeah. But I don't remember you then. It was, yada, yada, yada. But I do remember 1999. You don't remember me in 99, but you remember me in 2000. 2000. Yeah. Yep. So we were roommates. Uh, we were Not doing, by choice. No, <laughs> no. We were forced to be roommates. We, yeah, we were, we were, they, uh, we were doing <clears throat> Radio City Rockets. <clears throat> um, and we, um. She was so she was so sweet. So this is what she was. did. No, she is. She, she this this is what happened. What ha- this is what happened. We get you know she was flying in. We were in Detroit. She flew in from San Antonio, Texas. I flew in from California. Of course, my plane was always the last getting there. And you know what? And um, she she made it to the, the we were in a townhouse does not matter. Okay, anyway, we were going to townhouse. <laughs> and so she gets there before me. Well, I get there at night, and she's sitting in the middle of the living room with her luggage. And she's like, well, I didn't, you know, I got here first, and I didn't want to just take a room. I figured we could just, you know, flip a coin to the room. And I was like, oh, girl, I could if I would have made it here, I would have picked my room. <laughs> I was nice. Yes, you was. Was. 
Yes, she was. Yes, she is. But it worked we, out. She liked baths at the time. I like showers. I got the room with the shower. She got the room with the bath. Yeah. So. The only thing that I didn't like is she likes it 102 degrees, and I like it like I'll sleep in the snow <laughs> before that happens. But we became we became un, re, unacceptable. Un, Unacceptable? No. Um, inseparable. Yes. Inseparable. Inseparable. Yes. Inseparable. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mouth is all dry. No. <laughs> tough but, twister. But um, so Tara, uh, we 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 you got we got a lot to talk about with you. Little Women, of course, has changed all of our lives. Yes. Little Women has definitely changed my life. Um, I was not happy with who I was those last few seasons of Little Women, and I see that. I saw that almost instantly when COVID hit, because when COVID hit, we were still set to film season nine. Right. And I knew then and there, like I was, I was still depressed every day. I was trying to figure out how to get out of the funk mm -hmm. and I didn't, I couldn't figure it out. I, but I realized that, um, because of the drama that was in the show it really made me very stressful i was very rude to all. two of you specifically i was extremely like inappropriate to and i've had many conversations about this but i felt like it, it wasn't even y'all's fault that i was this unique human at the time i felt like it was for the greater good being that if I can blow up this m minuscule little thing into like a big fight, then it's going to be great for the show. And at the time, maybe it was it good was. for the show, and you know, not, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but how does it make you feel when you go home and these people that have been friends, you've been friends with for years are like, are now throwing darts at your face on their bedroom <laughs> wall. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of like, I felt like such a disconnect with who I wanted to be in life and the kind of person that I wanted to be as a mom and as a human. And I'm... I don't know. It was a lot. And I remember it's actually, it was like two weeks before Christmas that we got the call. We had already started season nine and we got the call two weeks before Christmas. It was a yep. FaceTime yeah. call that I got in 2020 that uh, we were no longer going to be continuing come 2020. And I just remember feeling relieved <laughs> and I, that's not a good feeling. <laughs> Like, I, I remember feeling, like, scared as shit, but, excuse my French, but I remember feeling, like, grateful in a weird way because I didn't want to continue down that path. And I knew that if, if we continued where we were, that was the path that was going to continue. It was just going to get worse, worse and, and I worse. didn't know. It was like a rabbit hole mm -hmm. that I didn't know how to get out of. So am I grateful for the show? Absolutely. I think that the show did amazing it things. Did. It has helped a lot of women in life. And I think that there's a lot more to give. I don't think that that's the last show that will be created that will show us shining. Right. But I do think that it needed to, to, it needed to, end. it needed to end in order to start anew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had to close that fresh. chapter. Yeah. Because I was, woo, but we learned, was, but, to be honest, because that was the first reality show that we ever did, because we we always did scripted stuff, you know, SAG, you know, movies, TVs, commercials, musical plays and stage plays. And, and going into it, you think it might be like, I mean, I think all of us kind of thought when we initially went into it, we thought it was going to be very much happy-go-lucky girlfriends, mm -hmm. like, yes. almost like what you see on TLC. <laughs> like, everybody loves each other, but, right. you know, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, but you have a little drama, but a tiny it's, little drama. It's, you know, it's, it's... It was a totally different situ situation. It was like, how can we make a mountain out of a molehill? And that's what we did every single week. But mm -hmm. and, but to be, to be frankly honest with you, though, remember... That the epi uh, we were filming one day and nobody was fighting, and it seemed boring. Totally, but I also remember that was because 
We were so conditioned. Yeah, yeah. we were. We were conditioned. We were. Like, if we if we weren't fighting, this right. is not going to be a successful mm-hmm. show. Right, mm-hmm. that's true. And if we weren't arguing, then that was a boring episode. Mm-hmm. Right. And I feel like while... I, I feel like we had so much going on in our lives yeah, that did. was not covered, that wasn't boring, that was drama, that right. was, like, real-life stuff. Right. Like, my, our ki- children and things that our families were going mm-hmm. through... And instead, we were, like, peeing in margaritas. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Well, like, I feel like a lot of stuff happened when we finished filming. Like, a lot of our personal stuff changed. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, when we stopped filming. And they didn't want to show that. No. And I really, I just didn't, yeah. I felt like it was bringing out the worst in Everybody. me and in a lot of us. Mm-hmm. Now, with that said... <clears throat> Do I love these women? Yes. Do I think that we had an experience that nobody else will understand? Absolutely. I feel like if you weren't on the show, you do not understand what we went through. But at the same time, there's that camaraderie that I appreciate because mm-hmm. I feel like we're, we've all we all know what it was like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like our first season was like, welcome to hell. Brought to you by <laughs> your, your show. <laughs> you cried almost every night. Mm-hmm. You, oh, it, it was yeah. just it, it, it yes, was like a, an Thanks, experience. Tanya. Jasmine oh, remembers oh, it. So oh, does Brittany. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, it Jasmine. Was so draining. I even remember but telling we, we Jasmine, called like, we're coming up right now. We we right now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I was going to get around to that, but let me finish. We're going we're gonna to yeah. go here. But. And then we're going to bring it back. <laughs> since the show, <laughs> things have changed. I have found myself. I am so much happier. I am. A mother of three now. Yeah. I uh, meditate daily. I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. I have me time for one solid hour. Hallelujah. <laughs> and a really, truly, like, it has given me so much more opportunity. And we're pit- I'm, I'm a producer always. And so I'm right. pitching more. I'm creating more. And the manifestations have just been overflowing. So... Life is good. Yes, it and is. And you are Boom. what? What is the biggest news ever? Um. Well, you... I through COVID. Um. If COVID wasn't enough, <laughs> <laughs> um. I also found out I had cancer, breast yes. cancer. So that was. We can come back to that, but whatever. We're good now. We are right. like in a different world right now, and life is happy and healthy. Happy yeah. and healthy. Mm-hmm. Cancer actually brought us together. It did. Wow. Because she reached out to me and she was like, look, girl, let's like, I just want you to know I love you and you. I'm here for you. And if you need I anything. appreciate that because I, I know that there was like some weirdness with, I'm not trying to take up yeah, your no, whole podcast, no, but I know there was some weirdness <laughs> was. of us on the show. Of course, right? a lot. And then I tried to pretend like nothing ever happened. And we went to like RuPaul's Drag Con and I was like, Brittany! And you're like, get the fuck away from me. (laughs) I truly was. I was like acting like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And I was like, she doesn't want anything to do with me. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to beg for friends. And this is truly like, I had nothing against you. I I absolutely loved you. Mm -hmm. Like, I I truly loved you. I wanted you to be a part of the show. Like, I loved you. I had nothing to do with you leaving. I had, that was not, if I, I had nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but my point is, (laughs) is that like cancer, Definitely was a scary thing, but it did do a lot of good things in my life as well. What I appreciate with your cancer journey, you um, took your friend on the journey, journey with, with you. you. Yeah, I mean, you you posted and put them on the journey from day one, like step by step by step. Still haven't and- ring my bell, but we're gonna do that together. Huh? What? I haven't ring my bell yet. Oh, oh I'm okay. gonna ring my bell. Okay, I know you that's can right. Ring my, I'm gonna ring that yeah, bell. You and you, you, they said they didn't want to have a bell. I was like, what? You don't have to find a bell. Okay, <laughs> bring your own bell. That, I, girl, bring your own exactly. bell. Exactly. All right, move on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really appreciate. I mean, because that helped a lot of people. Because it's you could so feel many it. people that you know gone through cancer. I, I love, my mom had cancer. I, I right? had no idea so many people went through it that were so close to me because mm-hmm. so many people don't talk about they it. Don't they don't? And and even people are scared about their careers and things like that. And so it's such a hush thing. Like I had no right. clue how many people that I knew, my neighbors, <laughs> my p- people that in my family that, that I'm like you, what? My best one of my yeah, best friends, best friend. one of my best friends probably wouldn't have told me unless I came out. 
Wow. That's, oh my gosh. That's it's crazy. crazy. Right. And it's it's good to share because you you don't know, you don't know who you're mm-hmm. helping. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, because somebody a lot of people are going through the same thing you're going through. Yeah. No matter what it is. And that's what I really appreciated from the show because even though we had the drama, we did touch on a lot of issues. And these issues, you know, people I would have fans. Oh, I, I love how strong you are and mm-hmm. how you, you know, because, you know, I had a different man every se- season. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, they like okay. a couple in one season. <laughs> 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 well, you know, because I just, you know, I just don't take, I can't. It's talent. Anywho. Um, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Just to be strong, you know, <laughs> they, they really appreciate our strength, you know, and showing people that even though we're, short statue we still have the same problems same mm-hmm. issues and e- some extra ones some little people problems but <laughs> you know it just it helped it helped average size people it helped other people who, like in wheelchairs or everybody other in the world yeah, yeah different disabilities mm-hmm. and the fact that our show was the first sh- show reality show to go around the whole world we are world wide known. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm quite sure you guys get on your Instagram, on your social media, different, you know, from the UK, mm-hmm. from Africa, yes. from We are Hawaii, pequeñas from grandes mujeres. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from <laughs> Mexico. Um, and people will come up to me and not speak, I, I've said this before, mm-hmm. not speak any English, mm-hmm. but if I say pequeñas grandes mujeres, they're like, oh, see? Sí. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. So the show did it. You know, it it did a lot. I agree. Know, I, yeah. I it put, it literally put us on the map. Yeah, right. And I I appreciate I appreciate the where we went, the journeys, the the, the different different things we experienced. Um, the drama I understand because I got stressed out. In fact, I ended up getting what Bell's palsy. Oh, girl. <laughs> I have Bill Spuzzy got was stressed out. So, oh, well. but um, you know, it comes with the good and the bad and everything in between. Definitely, the good outweighed the bad. But yeah. towards yeah. the end, I felt <sighs> overwhelmed. I did too. But... So now we're gonna move over to Miss Jazzy Jasmine. Um, so, <laughs> so Jasmine. Yes, I, Tanya. I met you. <laughs> Uh, what some months, six, seven months before you came on the I show? I literally met you for two. I didn't even meet you. It was two seconds at an event Ooh. that you didn't want nothing to do with me. You were like, mm, "Who's this girl?" I don't feel like when I meet somebody, I actually sit and have a conversation with. Right. I did not meet you at that moment. <laughs> I met you at this wine safari where you gave me a piece of your mind and how you felt about me. Ouch. <laughs> Are we are we filming little women right now? <laughs> it feels like it. Let me just Cut. let that out, okay? What's happening? My bad, my bad. So yeah. the the she one, was using the neck. So one of the <laughs> yeah she did she, she went there on me, but so what had happened was <laughs> this the one of the jerks well the jerk that I was dating at the time <clears throat> he was. Saying that you were saying some things. He was starting rumors. Yes. Let me tell you. Yes. And he was saying that I was saying a whole bunch of stuff, which right. was very untrue. And I truly wanted a group of friends that were little people because I had none. Mm-hmm. And Brianna was so kind to invite me. And I was so excited to meet you girls. And I was like, ne- I never told you guys this, but that wine safari, I cried all the way home. And I was like, I am never hanging out with these girls ever again. It oh was my God. crazy. And it it was, oh God, my bad. We were, we were like, hi, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, literally all of you. And I was like, I didn't say anything. You <laughs> were not very nice in the beginning, but then we were, then we were, then we were cool. Really? I don't remember. Yeah. It's okay. I remember everything. <laughs> I, I'm quite I sure you do. But after, later, after, you know, I apologized and we made amends, we became the bestest. You know what? We have so much in common. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times when when I meet somebody for the first time and we don't get along, we end up later being super close because we have the most in common. And 
I go to Tanya for so much when I'm having like a bad day or I just need like a prayer from her. She already knows. I call her (laughs) and I, I appreciated you you know, talking to me about raising average size daughter because I have average size boys and being nervous about what their friends are going to think about their mom or school. And so you just said, stay confident and go to the schools and say hello to everybody. And I've been doing that. Stay involved. Stay involved. They get, yep. they'll, get, they'll get used to you. Yes. You know, and your kids set the tone. Yes. You know, your kids, when they're like, mommy, excited to see you, then they're like, oh, Mommy, hi, yes. mommy. You know, yes. <laughs> so yes. um, yeah. So thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and so, what have you been doing since the show? So my boys take a big part of my life, and I just like to stay busy with them and make the best memories with them. Um, I'm very involved still with hair club, and I didn't want to talk about my hair on the show because I was very insecure about it and I didn't want people to know, but that's where opening up about your insecurities or something that's bothering you, people come and like, oh my gosh, I have the same issue Mm -hmm. with my hair. How can you help? I have the same issue. You you came to hair club. Yeah, and I came to you, I was like, so uh, what's going on here? <laughs> yes. So you know. I'm still involved with them. And then I do stuff like on social media and then just my boys and just staying busy mama. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. And you, you've been, you and Chris been married for how long? 11 years. Aw. Um, 11 years. Yes. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. Thank you. And um, so what did the show do for you? Um, I feel like I'm so very grateful that I made these relationships with you girls because i always wanted a group of little people friend and everything we can relate so that was number one and then also just being more confident in who i am and just not being afraid of i almost i know this sounds really bad but i didn't like being a little person because it was so negative all the time and being on the show was like, Jess, what's up? I, you know, from the show, I you've inspired me. And I heard so many, ins- you inspired me to where I never in a million years thought I would inspire an average size person. Right. Um, so just the positivity of our supporters just made me more confident in being a little person. And I, I agree with you with that because, um, well, with myself, I, I, you know, I didn't like being a little person either mm-hmm. and, until I had my daughter. Mm-hmm. After I had my daughter, something just clicked. You know, it was like, you got to be, Strong. you know, you got to feel good mm-hmm. about yourself for your daughter to yes. feel good about herself, you totally. know, because um, they see it mm-hmm. and they feel it. But prior to that, um, you know, I had, it was like, why can't I be taller? You know, mm-hmm. but. Once, but, but like you said, the show, people would come to me. They were like, um, d- do you wish you was tall? I said, no. I said, because I wouldn't have a job. Exactly. <laughs> you know, because yes. little women was for little women. Yes. You know, you had to be little to be on the show. Mm-hmm. So I was like, mm-mm. I, I'm very proud of who I am. And and it did help with, with the with the friendship mm-hmm. and we're sharing with like clothes and getting shoes and different stuff. You know, yes. we were able to, you know, girl, I got these shoes from such and such and such, you mm-hmm. know, and it just made you feel like, like I got real girlfriends that I could Included. share, include and share everything about like yeah. everything. Cause you know, my, my, my other, my friends or with, as people might say, average size friends, they, um, you know, they look at me as Tanya. They don't look at me as small, mm-hmm. but they, they don't understand. They can't relate to certain things. Certain things. Yes. Yeah. They, they can't relate to certain things. And it was so funny because even with my car, you know, cause we all have the extensions mm-hmm. on the car. And one time I think my car was in the shop and my girlfriend was like, girl, you could use my car. I was like, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like. Oh, yeah, they forget. Oh, it. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I don't look at you as little. I said, I know, I know. It's all good. It's a compliment. <laughs> it is. It was It was a compliment. But the it, it it did help build up strength and more confidence. Yeah. You know, I, I've had confidence, but the show 
really build my confidence being around you ladies and seeing the strength, um, even through the trials and tribulations, that we were strong to even get through that, yes. you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. supporting each other and, and being there for each other. So 100%. Um, but yes. Yeah. So and so now you're just you you've been a mom, a wife and you work at hair club. Yes, ma'am. OK. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have the last but not least, Miss <laughs> Christy. And what's your last name now? Ojeda. Ojeda. OK, Miss Christy. So Miss Christy just got married. Mm -hmm. And how long has it been? How long have you been a married? A month and a week. Okay, yeah. a month and a week. And now, since the show, you um, you 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 had a baby. Yes. And tell the tell the uh, listeners and the viewers um, what happened. What happened? Um. Well, it was a shock of my life being pregnant at forty-two, and. Um, I had the CVS test done, and so, okay, can explain uh, okay, what the so CVS. CVS test. Little people go in and do a test around twelve to thirteen, fourteen weeks, and it's they take a piece of placenta and they send it to the lab, and they got so much. Thank the good Lord, so much sample. Mm -hmm. Um, I donated some of it, and so they sent it off. And like three weeks later, I get this call saying the sample died. Mm -hmm. And I said, I donated some. Can we, can we have it, can we have it back and send that to the, to the lab? And they said, yes. So they sent it. Meanwhile, I'm getting more pregnant, more pregnant, more mm -hmm. pregnant. <laughs> the options are getting less and less. So the, they came back that she was a double zygote, which is different than a double dominant. Wow. A I double zygote that. is when the baby gets <clears throat> both dwarfisms, but he has a different dwarfism. And there is some little people out there with that dwarf, those two dwarfisms. So there is a chance of her or her to live. And there was a chance of her dying. And so I was like, by the time the CBS test came back, they were like, you need to abort. You need to abort. And I'm like, no. So I'm already feeling her kick. Mm -hmm. And so I went with the pregnant. I, they did a million different ultrasounds. They said she looked healthy. She was growing good. And she was premature. She was seven weeks. And... Uh, she wasn't ingesting any of her embryonic fluids. Seven weeks. Oh, you were early. Early. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> so she wasn't ingesting her the fluids like she should. You're right. I was huge. I was the size of like having twins. There was just so much fluid, and um, and so she lived two weeks. So we got two weeks with her. Mm -hmm. Her name was Violet. Her name mm -hmm. was Violet. So, because a lot of people don't understand, don't know about the double dominant. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know there was such a thing as double that is, zygote. Yeah, now that, And they're I like, there's not enough information on the achondroplasia and hypochondroplasia. There's not enough information. Oh, yeah. So he was hypo. Cause yes. He is tall. He was so, tall. And there's not enough information to give you a for sure answer. Mm. So when... We had to do an autopsy. I let them take as much as they wanted. So to do studies. To do studies. Oh, okay. Well, my condolences. Thank my you. My condolences. Um, so you, but since then, um, what else have you been doing? Well, I went to New York thinking that you know our relationship would survive, mm -hmm. but. It, it, you know, there is silver linings to everything. And I, I grew while I was there. I I, I became a, a caretaker to this beautiful woman. She was on dialysis. And uh, and I made really great friends. I got to become a recovery coach, like really do my recovery coaching out there and helped a lot of people out there. So it wasn't just 
me going out there. It was me finding myself. I went through mourning when I was in New York. Mm -hmm. We were all, you know, in New York, it was crazy. We were totally locked down, way more out than out here. Yeah. Um, so lockdown gave me a chance to really cry it out and find myself. And I volunteered in so many different places in New York. Our relationship didn't grow. A lot of things, like, people probably know, you know him. Um, he, we were, Gonzo was almost 10 years younger than me. He was in my kid's friend group. Um, he is very, uh, we're just very different. And so uh, we parted ways. And and then uh, you came back out I here. went to Vegas for a little bit, and I was like, oh, I don't like Vegas. <laughs> and I came out to my friends, which is your ex, sorry, um, no, um, <laughs> uh, Leaf and his wife. And she called me up and said, you want to come on a vacation? And I was like, hell yeah. So I brought one bag and I ended up staying there for a couple months and um, renting a room. And it was very, I got to do my meditation every day. I'm a me big on meditation and <clears throat> And affirmations and I got to do my writing and it was just finding myself and then you I met. met my husband uh, and it, he I, is did is he's six five six five go on, girl <laughs> <laughs> it's like 15 and a half oh oh wow okay. put some wheels on it <laughs> put some wheels on it right on that <laughs> and uh no, but he, it was crazy. We, on my first date with him, he's like, I'm like, I have no makeup on. I'm not really in the mood for dating. We were caught talking to each other. And I'm like, I really just don't want to meet up right now. And he's like, just come over. And I came over and his whole family was over. And he was like, you know, you know Mexican families. Yes. He's like cutting up a quesadilla for his niece and feeding it to her. And I was like, I love this guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, can you feed me a quesadilla? <laughs> and he was just so sweet and wiping her mouth. And I was like, oh my God, he's like rad. And and then I was like, I, I look like a hot mess. And, and he's like, you're beautiful. Well, and it was great. It's best for them to see you a hot mess. Yes. Then they know, you know, once you come in. And then, in, like, was, after that, we... How did y'all meet? Yeah, how did what? you meet? How did y'all meet? Oh, oh, I went on... Facebook <laughs> dating. What? I mean, what? Facebook, Facebook dating? dating? I'm just like, the address? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I said that. no it was Wait, fine. It was called what? Facebook, Facebook dating. dating. It's oh, so, yeah. So, okay, that. so I know I that doesn't, I, I know yeah, that sounds totally it. ghetto. Wait, just let me no, finish. I, I, <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> I was just playing around with it. And I, you have to match up with these people. We had 11 things in common. So I was like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess I'll meet up with them. I'm not going to put makeup on and I'm just going to look like a me. I mean, I didn't even put eyebrows on. I'm like, oh, this kind of shit. Shit. I'm like, the thin <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> oh, no. I'm like, focus. <laughs> and he's like, you're so beautiful. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Perfect. This could work. And Perfect. he had no idea about Little Women LA until his cousins saw me like weeks later. They're like, <laughs> and he's like, why are they? freaking out I'm like well <laughs> let me tell you a little story <laughs> so yeah oh, that's, that's great that's great <laughs> well um so how'd the second date go we we only like literally from the time we got married we only spent two days without each other Wow. Oh wait. Gee. So wait. So you went over for quesadillas. And then you moved in the second married, day. And then you're you going to get married. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got to get from quesadillas. I'm going to get a quesadilla. I said I do with a quesadilla. She did say he has like a something size foot. So maybe that did it. Yeah. <laughs> no. She, she, he's like, you have what size foot? Let me get down on one knee. <laughs> no. I think that's what got her out. Right. So was it the quesadilla or was it the foot? The shoe. Both. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. Oh. No, he's a oh. he's a gentle giant. He's super sweet. Um and I've never seen someone so selfless in their in this in anybody's life. Like he reminds me of my dad. Um <clears throat> something happened with my car and it was like giving me troubles and I needed to drive. He took the car 
extensions off my car and put it on his car and say, my car. So that's like a real. Oh, wow, that's sweet. Just for any tall people or is that a, an appropriate term? A gentle giant? I mean, like you wouldn't want us to be called like gentle tiny troll or anything I no but i would be i, would, I wouldn't Is mind that... wait wait i would not mind gentle dwarf <laughs> gentle dwarf, uh, gentle but, dwarf. But, but, but that sounds like we're aggressive i love it yeah, we buy such, yeah. such a gentle Joe dwarf you're such a gentle dwarf me if i called him back <laughs> you're like what the hell well, is okay, that shit so instead of saying gentle you're gentle giant because he's a yeah. giant to you yeah, yeah we wouldn't yeah. call him yeah, yeah. right yeah i'm with you on that one yeah yeah okay Got Joe's it. my gentle dwarf. Joe's <laughs> <laughs> so, so gentle. gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing gentle about, about Joe. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not at all. <sighs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. Like, I have so many questions, but I don't even know if we're going to get to all of them. Let's but just talk. <laughs> that's what we're we need a part two. <laughs> <laughs> part two, part three. But, well, since the show, I'll, I'll talk about myself now since I've asked everyone the same question. But the show, I enjoyed the show. Um, if they would do the show again, I would want to do it. But, again, like Tara said, I would want it to be revamped where it's more talking about real issues and not petty issues that's been blown up to big issues. Um, just natural things that we actually go through, mm -hmm. you know, as, as a people, <clears throat> uh, um, since then I've, I've did my book. Um, I wrote a book, I got a cinnamon spread podcast, um, you know, d doing, doing some different other little projects. Are you dating anyone, Tanya? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No. Tanya. no. For the record, okay. on Are the way sure? here, Tanya was like, do not bring up my dating life. <laughs> <laughs> so Have anyway, a nice day. Next, that part. <laughs> and, and scene. <laughs> so, um. You're looking a little red, Tanya. Black people can't get red. Who said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, my, okay. my, my, my kind of black. I can't get rid of it. I see a little pink cheeks right now. Okay, that's blush, boo, blush. Okay. But anyway. Um, your daughter. Tell us about your daughter. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. My baby. She's she's 30. She'll be 31. Oh, my goodness. And she's engaged to get married. So oh, wow. I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm waiting to be a grandmother so I could spoil the kid and everything and then mm -hmm. give it back. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. So um, I'll be helping her prepare for a wedding next year, this 2023, which is next week. <laughs> <laughs> next week. Is she going to have like a flash mob? I picture Angelique <clears throat> to do a total flash mob dance, dance routine at her wedding. Or like a total, yeah, or something with her and Reggie totally choreographed. Yeah, probably, girl. I, I tell her to all her girlfriends are dancers, <laughs> and I be all his that. friends are. She said she wanted to have her wedding in Jamaica. Wow. Yeah, she did. She did say that. Um, and I think that's to kind of, um, you know, have so she could, she could, oh. yeah, she could invite whoever, and you know, Not whoever shows show. up. Yeah, show. Exactly. So mm -hmm. that make it a destination wedding. So. Hey, it She's is like, what you're it not is. here. I don't have to pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I told her all I want, I really want to do is mainly be involved with the dress. But once she start, things start moving, I'll probably want to be involved. Do everything. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, hey, that's my only child. And hopefully, only wedding. And you know, I love my my to be son in law. Love him to death. He, he's they're 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 two peas in a pod. They're perfect for each other. They've been dating ever since what they were fourteen. Wow. Yeah. They met time. at church, um, and they've been together ever since. And I'm like, it's about time. <laughs> so, you know, Angelique's usually kind of reserved until you get to know her. Yes, <laughs> very reserved. Reggie's the same way. Her her fiance. Reggie is like, the first time I met him, he was uh -huh. on a mute. And I was like, okay, so he's just like Angelique. 
<laughs> and then, but the second time I met him, he was like, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. And I, I can't to get to know you and feel comfortable. Totally. And I think Angelique is kind of the same way. She really like has her guard up the first time yeah. she meets you. And then she has her guard up a lot of times she meets you. I mean, even he has to give a, a, a FYI to his friends or family. Well, okay, you're going to be my girlfriend. She she doesn't have an attitude. <laughs> you know, she just be kind of quiet and reserved. But, yeah, she's different. The opposite of her mama. Definitely, definitely, because I am the social butterfly. <laughs> so, anyway, so we're going to cut. And we want I want to thank everyone for joining us on part one of my interview with all my girls, Little Women LA. Yay. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey boss babes, this is Tanya Renee Banks, and I want you to go to my website, tanyareneebanks.com, and purchase my book. It's not what you're called, it's what you answer to. I will personally give you an autographed copy if you go to my website and purchase it. Again, tanyareneebanks.com. Get your copy today, and somebody need to call Oprah. Well, we are back with part two of the interview with the cast of Little Women L.A. Welcome back, and we're going to continue this. I'm going to dive right on in. Um, we talked with everyone about what they're doing, uh, what they've been doing after the show, how they how they like doing the show, um, and now we're gonna we talked about uh, Tara's um, cancer journey, Christy's um, journey with the double dominant double zygo zygo dominant. That's something. I'm curious. Would that be like if 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 we found out that Magnolia was a little person? Would she be double zygote since great since Joe is? I always thought she would be so double dominant. So she had your dwarfism and pseudo achondroplasia. So dwarfism, she's a double zygote. You know who also not has double a, dominance? Not a double dominant. You know who also has a, a double zygote? Double dominant will be two eight two eight yeah. 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 You know who also has a double <clears throat> zygote is um Don. He has two dwarfisms. Yeah, there's tons, and there's there's a lot of but, acon oh, and they can and survive. Pseudo. They totally yeah. depending yeah. On, depending on what type of dwarfisms. And okay. but or not. Which but one there is are more there stronger? are <clears throat> there are there has been cases where an acon and a hypo has has lived. So mm-hmm. it's but not too many on the books, but there has. So I think a big part of that had to have been the fact. Uh, you're already facing dwarfism, which you have breathing issues when yep. you're first born, and you're seven weeks premature. Is that had to be really rough? It was really. Crazy. But both of your children are um, Acon. Acon. Acons. Mm-hmm. So you know you definitely had the gene. Mm-hmm. Uh Because their dad is what? Acon. Acon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they look like me. Thanks. <laughs> Are you going to try for any more? It was the surround sound. I'll get my side, girl. I don't know. It's a question. I can ask that. I'm 45. You should be going through menopause by now. (laughs) Exactly. Thank you, Brandon. If it happened, it would be a miracle. Boom. There you go. That's a better answer. But it has happened. You just talked about manifesting. If it happened, why not when it happens? When it happens. That would be beautiful. Boom. I would love to have my rainbow baby. You need not to talk about <laughs> if. You need to talk about when. if that's something that you want in your no, life. You need to say, when that day comes, I am going to be an awesome mom. Yeah. Because yeah. there's be many miracle. moms that are in their 40s yes. having babies. Yes. 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 It's yeah. possible. Yes. So, yes, Edmund. I would love to have a rainbow baby for sure. Okay. Man. So, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question for everyone. Um, I'll start with you, Brittany, first. We're going to go this way again. Um, is it anything that happened on the show on Little Women LA that you um wish didn't happen or didn't like? Oh dang. <laughs> um, yeah, I felt like I had to be a bitch. And I'm not really a bitch unless like I am tested or if I don't like someone. Like I liked Tara. We didn't have no problems, but I felt like I had to be extra to not like her. Mm-hmm. Or I had to be like extra to not like anybody. I felt like that would have been like 
something that would change. And I can understand that because by you at that time you would well you were the youngest. Yeah, I was twenty three. We at the were time. all like you know your aunties and right. You know you and Angelique same age. Right. You know year apart and it it's I can I could see that. Yeah, and I can understand that. Brittany's like one of the nicest people you'll ever meet Mm -hmm. and she's one of those girls that I I honestly have to say like has one of these traits about her that I wish I had those people that are smiling all the time time. (laughs) all the time hi how are you it's so good to meet you (laughs) exactly (laughs) and and I like when you when you try and smile all the time you feel so good but it's so hard (laughs) it's so so hard but your day is just better when you do and she does that Mm -hmm. she she definitely had a a a happy life she got two beautiful parents because i'm friends with both of them (laughs) (laughs) but she looks intimidating like she sometimes you're not sure like ooh, is she gonna like be cool and I, when I first, no, when I, I was like, I don't know if she's going to like me. Mm-hmm. But getting to know her, she is the sweetest, most mm-hmm. kindest soul. Yeah. But she looks like a little bit intimidating. Probably because I'm just like the whole time. Or like my face At is times, probably like, yeah. yes. And she owns the room. Yes. That's 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 a difference. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah. I don't realize that. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And uh, Brianna. Is there, <laughs> is there how much any, time do I have? Right, right. <laughs> the, 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 what time to put the the what the the last the last four seasons that you did? The last four. Oh gosh. Let her answer what she. I'm, 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 <laughs> she's <laughs> questioning. <laughs> um, that would change. Would you change? Yeah, yeah. what well, that you would change? Um, uh, you know, aside from the obvious, which you know, like I said, it was a blessing in disguise. I think I needed a hit rock bottom in life to go okay how strong can i be how high can i grow you know and how good of a parent you know can i become and you know when you hit rock bottom all the the only way is up and so Mm -hmm. to me i'm not even gonna i don't even put any energy or anything to that what happened amen but also because i got my beautiful boy out of it i it's kind of like yes i would change it but I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine life without my little guy. Right. So, you know, it, it made my daughter and I much stronger. We're best friends. It made my son have someone to look up to until he's taller than me, which hopefully won't be any day soon. <laughs> uh, but I also realized what I do deserve. And I was ready to receive my husband now. Right. Like, it, it just wasn't, I wasn't, if I had been that person and met Tim now, I've been like, oh, he's a good guy. But now it's like, no, wait, he's... He's a great guy. Everything. Yes. Like, he reminds me of my dad right. in all the good ways. And it's just, they're, they're very close. And it also just, everything brought my family and I to a stronger understanding of one another, too. Like, everything I kind of saw that I was doing, you know, I realized, okay, I got I got to grow up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got to mm-hmm. make some changes. And so we are stronger than ever. Okay. I love so that. I guess that's... Uh, that's that. Okay. I do have to add, I, I'm i so happy for you because you, you, I think you finally are seeing what you deserve. And and I I love that you're in this place. Thank you. I totally. really missed you. I haven't seen you. Like, it's our first time seeing each other. I again. know. Right. It's, I, well, I was you like, and I, too. I know. It's been what? But I was a little nervous. Years. I'm not going to lie. Uh, really? five, five years? Yeah. Wow. I haven't oh, seen well. her. We haven't since... talked, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, you and I, like, we got to, right, like, right, right. We yeah. realize that, you know, we're still good. We're right. still good. We can right. still, you know, but yeah. even yeah. the drive here and, um, prior she was like i'm so nervous about seeing brianna oh. why am i so nervous mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's gonna be fine You're yeah gonna be, like because we had a really deep connection and it um it just it stopped so abruptly yeah. and but i always thought about you i always prayed for you i always like wanted to come together and thank you for bringing us together yes. because i feel like I would love to go to dinner with you mm-hmm. and and hang out Absolutely. and go take our kids places and meet your husband. Like I can't wait for for that. Yeah, soon. Truly. Yeah. Very soon. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Because you, to be honest, all of you got well, not you, Brittany, and myself, but <clears throat> with, it seems like everyone has be- beautiful husbands. Yeah, you know, I'm. Yeah. I'm mad. You just gotta. <laughs> are you dating? <laughs> Um, I have a few people, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 She's like, I'm young. So I'm not exclusive. Young. I am young. Um, 
so are you. One so. thinks you were <laughs> exclusive. Somebody thinks you're exclusive. You yeah. are exclusive. I am? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. No. I'm trying to read your face. Um, I talked to my ex and we're very... <gasps> Wait, not that... Very... Oh, no, uh, okay, not that crazy one. Like, no. Girl. Oh. no, don't go backwards. But one that has a key to my house <laughs> and we do business together and stuff like that. So, yeah. Ah, Is he so you're just like yes. Tanya. <laughs> oh shoot! Anyway. Wait, he has a key to your house? Huh? <laughs> oh shoot! What? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm I'm missing something. <laughs> I'm just saying, you with previous people that you've dated, you've also done business with them. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> why does it make you? Maybe that's your problem, Tanya. What? Because you're so life? uncomfortable when you talk about your love life, but maybe you should talk about it more often. <laughs> right. And then you'll Tell be the world what you want into your life. Yeah. I am. No. Or, or <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. See that that closed offness. I am Ooh. no. Mm. And <laughs> we want to do. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Everybody else too. <laughs> so, um, where are we going? So y'all, how y'all gonna? We're gonna take over give this me thing. All, give me all. Give me next episode. <laughs> Tanya talks about question. her love life. Mm-hmm. We got a question. No, no. huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. So Tara, anything you? <laughs> She's like, stop it, girl. This just my left. She's like, so how long? How, <clears throat> so how long you and Joe been married? <sighs> I take it at Penny's age, so seven. Yeah, seven seven years. years, yep. And but we've been together for almost fifteen years. Wow. I really thought we were gonna be like um, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, right? Forever. But then the second I had Penelope, Penelope I was like, no, mm-hmm. I want to be married. You gotta have the name, last name. Well, I still don't have that, but <laughs> <laughs> on legal documents, but not for. No. Oh, 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 my bad. <laughs> it just makes things simpler, but there have been, there was a moment where I have tried to change these things, but I'm okay with being me and it's just, I'm happy. Yeah. Joe has been like, can I just say, like, I know Joe is a little bit of a villain through a lot of this and I'm like, he has been, it was, it was rough for everyone, of course, through COVID. With COVID. But then also finding out that I might be facing yes. breast cancer and his mom is a two-time breast cancer survivor. But still, oh, wow. I mean, I'll never forget the day that it was actually our wedding day, the day after when I went to go pick up Penelope. Um, she told us that she had breast cancer for the second time. And, oh, I, wow. and I was like, this is the day. Like, it just I just remember that moment, you right. know. And she probably is why I decided to have a double mastectomy. As because you should have. I didn't want it to come back, back. Mm-hmm. and then have to deal with all of that all over again. Mm-hmm. But he has been just incredible. Mm-hmm. He's been incredible. He's taken the kids when I was in the hospital, and it's it wasn't just like a one time you're in the hospital. It's like right. you go a lot. You visit a lot. You do well, a lot he, of he, different things. But sometimes drastic something drastic has to happen for it to be a drastic change. And see, he figured like oh man my wife is going through you know and he he is supposed to be that person that strength totally and he stepped up to the plate mm-hmm. he definitely did he definitely stepped up to the plate oh can i tell y'all a quick little funny story that nobody really knows <laughs> <laughs> speaking of stepping up to the plate but not really so uh, <laughs> yeah. so I w- so Penelope and I were both getting ear tubes. And if you're a little person, you know that a lot of little people, we were just talking about getting ear tubes. Ear if you're a little person, you know that a lot of little people get ear tubes. So Penelope and I were getting ear tubes same day, same time, 7 a.m. You get the ear tubes. We walk in. She, pee- she does her little test. She's good to go. I do my little tests. And I'm sitting there. I see that she goes. This is 7 a.m. in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. She goes to do her <laughs> surgery. And then all of a sudden they're like, doctor, doctor. And we're like, what happened to Penelope? What happened? Is she okay? What happened? And it was seriously like something you saw like on ER or like Days of Our Lives. And the, the doctor just opened the, the curtain and he's like, Tara, you're not having surgery today. You're pregnant. 
And that was when I knew mm, Magnolia nice. was here. <laughs> and I started crying tears of joy, and Joe started crying the opposite kind of tears. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of my story. Oh, my wow. ENT told me I was pregnant. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Wow. Fun fact of the day. It was like, no, no surgery, no anesthesia, no nothing for you. Yep. So. Wow. <laughs> Not many people can have that story. <laughs> Joe's crying the other. <laughs> <laughs> she was crying of joy, crying of sadness. <laughs> he truly pain, is joy, like pain. Paul Rudd in This is 40. Yeah, that's him. Okay, move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all ask questions that we've always wanted to ask each other. But Ooh, haven't... I like that. Yeah? Okay, yeah. yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. 21 questions. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh. Don't ask me no questions. No. <laughs> Tanya, who are you dating? <laughs> no. Yeah, um... Oh, my God. <laughs> so, what, we just have to dodge these questions? Yeah. You're going to ask hey. me a question. I'm going to say, no. <laughs> Tanya, you asked them what their biggest regret was on the show. What was your biggest regret on the show? Ooh. My biggest regret. You better say or something would change. mean to me. Being mean to you for for that long. <laughs> I'll take no, that. but my biggest regret was when um, I gave my daughter Angelique her graduation party for she got her mass her two bachelor's degrees, and I gave her the um, her graduation party at the community center, and I, my regret was having a lifetime recorded because. They took over, and it went from my daughter's graduation party to Little Women L.A., and who can fight, and who can <laughs> argue, oh, and oh, wow. oh, I'll, oh, and I, that was my only regret. I would, like, I would have never done that. Right. I would have never let them film come and take that over. That special moment. That special moment. So, then... you know, I'm like, okay, my daughter is the first one in the family to get two degrees and I'm trying to give her a party and her friends and and they came in and took oh see I'm getting upset about it thinking about it now so anyway <laughs> but yeah. on a bright note you got it free because they had paid for it but I mean, still it, it but it it took away from her I it wasn't moment. even it wasn't yeah. even her party so <clears throat> it wasn't you know the all money ain't good money. It, 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 I, it, I'm I, with you on that it one. It wasn't even about them paying for that it part, because yeah. I had already paid for it. And, you know, it was, you know, I wanted her to enjoy her party. I'm with you. So, yeah. So, I'm, yeah, I'm I still salty about that. I think she knows the that. intention was there, though. Huh? She knows the intention was there. Yeah, but... Mm, she was a little mad? No, she, you know, it was just everybody. It was just, it was just... um a reflection of me where it seemed like, oh, she's, you know, Hollywood, every, you know, the people mm. have to come and tape and, and, the, and the way they took over and wouldn't let us eat, you know, it was, it was just a lot. It was, wouldn't let us play, you know, music. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm salty about it. Anyway. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I made it up with her 30th birth, birthday party okay, and she ended up getting good. engaged at the party. So oh, hey. it, it, it made up for all that. So right. she, she has some uh, very good uh, memories. video memories mm -hmm. and, yeah. you know, emotions <laughs> from that. So <clears throat> I said, oh, if we was doing Little Women L.A., they wouldn't have been here. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 nope. But, yeah, that was about it on, on that note. Okay. Tell us. Jasmine? You got to say what you would change about something. Or like what I regret mm -hmm. on the show. What you, you would change what? it. I, I don't know. That's a tough question for me to answer. I don't know if I have any regrets. Maybe certain things that I did on the way I spoke to certain people in certain situations. When you told me I was so thirsty, I need to go jump in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can see that didn't affect that, you at all. That was so funny. I wanted to laugh. And when she told me that, I, I, oh. I was hurt because you you have had a moment because at that point we were so good and then you just you literally forgot about me. And I think let me tell you why that hurt me a little bit because uh -oh. being a little person <laughs> Open up a you already have like insecurities. 
So that word being forgotten, Ooh, oof, that hurt me to the core. I'm sorry. So I wanted to hurt you back. Yeah, you did. And I think maybe that's maybe that's back. what I regret is trying to hurt other people back. Mm. You know, mm. like just let it go. Go swim what? in the ocean, Tanya. <laughs> Get you that thirsty water, <laughs> salty water. Salty. <laughs> but um, I think that that's what. And that, I, I do, do regret. regret. I regret. Trying to I, hurt regret people back. I regret. I do regret. I <clears throat> forgot. I do regret. I forgot. I do. Yeah. I do. I do. I did. I Thank do. you for not forgetting me today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think I was contacting you like four, five, six times. I was like, so Jasmine? So Jasmine? <laughs> nah, we would not. Nah, yeah. We're going to make that mistake again. Christy? <laughs> uh, I would say I didn't have a handle of my depression and anxiety. And it, I think it showed with my weight flux and sticking around with Todd and taking shit that I didn't want to take. Um, it was very stressful to me, and um, <clears throat> I wish I had more of a hold on my uh, mental health. And uh, it was really rough on me. And, but on a good note, I've been public speaking for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And this take, this show gave me a platform mm -hmm. to do amazing work. And since then I've been traveling, doing um, talks on inclusion, um, disability, both public, uh, both physical and silent, um, just a plethora of different um, subjects and I have an amazing mentor and I just think that we were able to open the eyes of the general public mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. we're not just little people we're just people mm -hmm. and we're just normal right let me add also, like, you going through all that and staying, like, keeping your sobriety, that's huge. Thank you. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people then, can't handle certain things like that, and you stayed and strong. And they go back to yeah, yeah that makes so stressful. them comfortable. <clears throat> so I will be celebrating 13 years January 4th. Boy, oh, yeah. Celebrating. Nice. Thank you. And so um, it's been rough. Yeah. But um, just keep taking one day at a time. Thank but you. Not you got your gentle <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's it's you just have to recognize it and speak about it and talk about it. Mm -hmm. You can't keep it. In. You can't suffer in silence. And I think I suffered in silence. I didn't talk about it with you guys. I just was a miserable fucking person. So it took me a long time to realize that. But you, um, you did talk about it on the show um, a little bit. We but... we had the sobriety party thing. No, I'm just talking about and... like depression, anxiety, uh, mental okay. health. Got you, got mental you. health. Yeah. I think it was, it really got to me because, all in all, being an addict it is it's a mental illness. It's a yeah, and 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 uh, and you you go from one addiction to another. If you're just not drinking, you're eating. Mm -hmm. Not eating you're working it's just if you're not working you're shopping it's just right. like it's it's a constant battle. you gotta yeah. feel mm -hmm. something at that space right. yeah so exactly. you have to like constantly be on your toes yeah so yeah okay well i guess that answers everything so now i want everyone to look at the cameras and tell everyone Brittany, where they can find you and what did you say? We're playing 21 questions. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. The after hours. It's time to go. Right. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> this was a long time yeah, waiting, coming. Right. And I am so glad you guys all came and made it. And it's everyone's looking good. None of Nobody has aged a bit. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, and I got a tummy tuck. Yeah, and lip filler. Uh, uh, right? Oh, uh, was I not supposed to say? <laughs> I noticed. Oh, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, little miss, I don't get Botox. I don't do nothing. Oh, I, I do it all. No, baby, remember oh, when yeah, I used to yes. say that? Oh, yeah, and now yeah. I'm like, <laughs> sign me up. So, yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah, no, I, 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 I literally had a, when I had a skin skirt. Like, literally, it went down <laughs> to here. My skin. I, it was disgusting. Oh, wow. A skin skirt? I've never heard of that. Like, it was like, a, okay, a skin apron. It was like an apron. It was like, it would touch so my legs. So it says a Dunlap is done skirt. Yeah, done oh. skirt. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Well, so, Brittany, <laughs> yes. tell the fans and the viewers, the listeners, where they could find you on your platforms and what are your handle, platform handles? You can find me on all social medias. At Freaker Brit, F R E A K A Brit, B R I T T, on everything. <laughs> and Brianna? You find me on Instagram at Brianna.Renee, B R I A N A dot R E N E E, like Tanya. We share the same middle name. Yes, we do. Um, And then same for Facebook. So Facebook and then Brianna Renee. Okay. And that is it. Tara? The easiest thing to say is just my first and my middle name that everybody knows me as, Tara Jolet. Tara Jolet across the board. And if you don't know anything you know? <laughs> about where that is, Instagram or anything, just go to tarajolet.com. There you go. <laughs> Same with me. You can go to tanyareneebanks.com and hit all my social media and my YouTube. Same, just first name, last name, Jasmine Sorge, Instagram, TikTok. I'm newer to TikTok, so check me out. <laughs> it's Christy McGinnity, C H R I S T Y M C G I N I T Y dot com. You can find me on everything. So I would like to thank everyone for joining on and listening and watching Little Boss Talk. Again, I'm with the cast of Little Women LA. Thank you. You can catch me on YouTube. Bye. Bye. Rolling with the top down. Always at the place to be. Head down, fly chick. You know when I slide, I'm the VIP. I'm the VIP. It's that little boss talk. It's that little boss talk. When you touch down in LA, the one you got to see is me.